Welcome to Explain, a series of health education programs published by the Patient Education Institute, the leading provider of interactive health education. This video includes general medical information and does not replace the medical advice of your doctor or healthcare provider. If you have questions pertaining to your medical condition, ask your doctor or healthcare provider. Chagas Disease Introduction Chagas disease is caused by a parasite. The disease can infect anyone, but is diagnosed most often in children. Symptoms usually go away, but if you don't treat the infection, it can later cause serious digestive and heart problems. This program explains Chagas disease. It discusses the symptoms and causes of the disease. It also discusses risk factors, prevention, and treatment. Chagas disease Chagas disease is spread by infected bugs that suck blood. Some of the bugs are known as triatamine bugs. They are also called kissing bugs, assassin bugs, cone-nosed bugs, and reduviate bugs. Triatamine bugs hide in crevices in the walls or roof during the day and then come out at night. They often feed on sleeping humans. The most common places to find the bugs inside a house are near pet resting areas. The bugs are found in areas infested by rodents. They are also found in or around beds, particularly under mattresses or bedside tables. A bug that is infected with Chagas disease will usually bite your lips or your face. It leaves behind feces that are infected with a parasite. The parasite is called T. cruzi. You can get Chagas disease if you rub the infected feces in your eyes or nose. You can also get infected if the feces enter the bite wound or a cut. Once inside the body, the parasites multiply in cells. Infected cells burst, releasing parasites into the bloodstream. There are two phases of Chagas disease. The acute phase. The chronic phase. The acute phase of Chagas disease lasts for several weeks or months after infection. It often goes unnoticed as symptoms may be mild. Acute Chagas disease is only rarely fatal. Most at risk are young children or people with weakened immune systems. The chronic phase of Chagas disease is more serious. When the parasite is not eliminated, the infection may remain without symptoms for decades. Chronic phase symptoms appear in about a third of patients. They can be severe. Causes the cause of Chagas disease is the parasite T. cruzi. People can be infected with the parasite if they are bitten by a blood-sucking bug. These bugs can become infected by T. cruzi when they ingest blood from an infected animal. Chagas can also be spread by accidental exposure to the parasite while working in a laboratory, being with an infected pet, eating undercooked contaminated foods, the food may contain infected bugs or their feces. Getting a blood transfusion or organ transplant from an infected person. Spending time in a forest with infected wild animals. Chagas disease can also spread from mother to child during pregnancy or while breastfeeding. Sponsored by the Patient Education Institute. www.patient-education.com over 5,000 videos and interactive tutorials. Symptoms Symptoms can range from mild to severe, but many people do not experience symptoms until the chronic stage. People with acute phase Chagas disease may not have any symptoms. Mild symptoms of acute Chagas disease are similar to other illnesses. They include body aches, fatigue, fever, headache, loss of appetite, nausea, diarrhea, and vomiting, rash, swollen glands. One unique symptom of Chagas disease is called Romagna's sign. This is the swelling of the eyelids or around the eye. It happens on the side of the face near the bite. It may also happen if infected bug feces have been rubbed into the eye. Acute phase symptoms often go away without treatment, but the infection does not. If it is not treated, the infection continues.
it may advance to the chronic phase. Chronic symptoms of Chagas disease are the symptoms of severe heart or intestinal disease. They may happen 10 to 20 years after initial infection, or they may never happen. Chronic Chagas disease can cause severe symptoms. They include abdominal pain or constipation due to an enlarged colon, an inflamed enlarged heart, an irregular heartbeat, congestive heart failure, difficulty swallowing due to an enlarged esophagus, sudden cardiac arrest. Diagnosis Your healthcare provider will perform a physical exam. He or she will also ask about your symptoms and factors that put you at risk of Chagas disease. If you have the signs and symptoms of Chagas disease, a blood test will be done. Blood tests can confirm that the T. cruzi parasite is in your blood. They can also confirm if antibodies are in your blood. Antibodies are proteins that your immune system creates to fight the parasite. If you are diagnosed with Chagas disease, you will likely have additional tests. These will determine if the disease has entered the chronic phase. If so, it may have caused heart or digestive complications. Tests for complications may include abdominal x-ray, electrocardiogram, upper endoscopy. Treatment Treatment of Chagas disease depends on the stage. In an acute infection, treatment focuses on killing the parasite. In later stages, treatment focuses on managing symptoms. There are only two drugs that can be used to treat Chagas during its acute phase. Treated early enough, the disease can be cleared in most children and in about 80% of adults. Treatment may not completely get rid of the parasite, but it can greatly reduce the odds of chronic Chagas disease. Once Chagas disease reaches the chronic phase, medicines cannot cure the disease. Instead, treatment depends on symptoms. To treat heart complications, treatment may include medicines. It may also include a pacemaker or other devices to regulate your heart rhythm. Surgery or even a heart transplant may be needed. Treatment for digestive complications may include diet changes, medicines, surgery in severe cases. Some 9 million people worldwide have Chagas disease. About 20 to 40 percent of these people suffer from chronic disease. If you like this video, please like and share. For similar videos, subscribe to our channel. Summary Chagas disease is caused by a parasite. The disease can infect anyone, but is diagnosed most often in children. The acute phase of Chagas disease lasts for several weeks or months after infection. It often goes unnoticed as symptoms may be mild. Acute Chagas disease is only rarely fatal. Most at risk are young children or people with weakened immune systems. The chronic phase of Chagas disease is more serious. When the parasite is not eliminated, the infection may remain without symptoms for decades. Chronic phase symptoms appear in about a third of patients. They can be severe. Treatment of Chagas disease depends on the stage. In an acute infection, Treatment focuses on killing the parasite. In later stages, treatment focuses on managing symptoms. Thank you for using Explain.